Hi everyone, this is May with Hunter's Customer Success Team, and today we are going to be talking about how to use the Bulk Email Finder to retrieve email addresses from a list of contacts. Let's get started. First and foremost, if you are not already there, you can navigate to the Bulk's section via this sidebar navigation panel here, um, and today we are going to be choosing the Email Finder. If you have any previously performed bulks, they will be listed right here, but if you are brand new to Hunter, or if you're just getting started with a new bulk today, we are going to select this new bulk option at the top. First, we're going to go ahead and name the bulk right here up top, and then we're going to select the file that we'd like to upload. For the bulk email finder to work properly, your file must contain at least a first name column, a last name column, and a company name or domain column. The first and last name can be combined into one column if you'd like, and we do recommend using domain names whenever possible. We also do recommend cleaning up your data prior to uploading your file, um, for example, removing any unnecessary prefixes or initials so that Hunter can more accurately match your contacts to an email address. If you're unsure of how to format your file, you can always download a sample right here. Before moving on to our next step, we do also have two options we can adjust right here. We can choose to include sources for the emails in the result. If selected, this will just let you know where Hunter found the email if it is available for you. Additionally, you can choose to skip rows that already have email addresses. If your file has some contacts with an email address already filled out and you're using Hunter to enrich that file, you could select this option to then skip those rows. Once everything looks good, you can click upload. Here you'll now need to match the columns in your file to begin processing the search. Hunter will try to match any of the columns it can automatically, but it's always a good idea to give it a quick look before hitting validate. Once your file has been successfully processed, Hunter will provide you with an overview of the results, so you'll see how many email addresses Hunter found, as well as the status of these email addresses. The verification status of these email addresses will always be provided in an email finder search because these emails are pre-verified at no additional credit cost to you. If you're curious about what the verification status of an email means, you can always check this little tooltip to get a quick overview, and of course we have a full breakdown of the possible verification statuses in our Help Center. To see our full results, we can either import the results as leads into Hunter, or download the results in a CSV file. Regardless of which option we choose, you can always choose to retrieve either only the valid email addresses, or the full list. We will also always show you the credit cost of these searches right here before you make any action to import or download them. If you navigate back to the Email Finder dashboard, you can see that your most recent search will be available right at the top here in case you need to refer back to it. If you need to manage your bulks, you can always do so by using the drop-down menu as shown here to either rename or delete and archive your results. Please do note that if your results have already been accessed via download or import, you cannot delete the file entirely, but you can archive it to remove it from view. That's all today for our bulk email finder tutorial, but if you have any additional questions or need any help formatting your file, please don't hesitate to reach out to our support team via chat here or via email at contact at Thank you!